Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay and I'm a transfer credit evaluator here at CU Boulder. Today I'm going to go over part three of the Will My Courses Transfer feature in Transferology. So if you missed part one or part two, please make sure you check the description box below on YouTube or check out our website at colorado.edu slash admissions. Let's get started. So diving right into the apply courses to a program feature, um, we're already on the matches, misses, and maybes page, which means you have entered in coursework and selected CU Boulder as the school you are wanting to see how your courses are going to transfer to. In order to apply a courses to a program, we're going to click the green apply courses to a program button um, underneath the school profile information in transferology. So once we've done that, it'll bring us to a page that lists out every single major that we have at CU Boulder. We do have various types of bachelor's degrees available for students that includes Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and a few other little ones. Um, so please do your research as to what degree you think is going to be the best for you based off of your interests and things like that. Um, you can find that information on our website. We have a lot of information out there on all of our different colleges and all of our different programs. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and select chemistry just so this can give us a great understanding of how our courses are going to transfer and you can see how this document will kind of fit, how our courses are going to fit into this document that I'm going to show you. Once we've selected a major, it'll bring us to more information about this specific major. So there are on kind of in the middle of the screen here some program information links and transfer information links. So program information is just going to dive a little bit deeper into that specific major you are looking into. So if you can't decide between a certain major, these are great links to kind of help you kind of understand how those are going to um, affect you and whether or not and help you decide whether or not that this is the best program for you. Um, there's also transfer information links. So these links are going to be great resources to understand like whether or not that certain program or college attached to that program has certain prerequisite courses or grades or GPAs that you need to receive in order to get direct to be admitted directly into that program. So in order to see how these courses are going to apply to a program, we're going to hit that green, see how your courses might apply to this program button. So after clicking that button, it'll bring up a little pop-up screen that'll ask us a few questions. That first question is a question asking you whether or not you're going to receive an Associates of Arts or an Associates of Science from a Colorado Community College. Um, there are some benefits to um, earning an Associates of Arts or an Associates of Science from a Colorado Community College. So if you want more information about that, please feel free to reach out to our transfer recruiters at transfer at colorado.edu and we can give you a little bit more information about that. Um, if you are seeking that, you can go ahead and answer yes. Um, if you are not seeking one of those degrees from a Colorado Community College, um, go ahead and click no. It's totally fine either way that you are answering this question. So the second screen is going to ask you whether or not you want to see if classes from another school will, how they will apply to this degree. So this will take information from our transfer tables and point out like, hey, you could take this class at your current institution and it will apply to your degree. So this is really great if you're still planning on taking a couple courses at your current institution or another institution that you've previously gone to or completely institution a completely different institution in general, you can go ahead and select those or enter that in to this information here um, just by clicking yes and it'll bring down some drop down menus. If you're not in this boat and you know for a fact that you're not taking any more classes, you're ready to transfer to CU Boulder, you can go ahead and click no. Um, either way, it'll bring in the information that you have entered into transferology and apply it into this um, program audit. Once we click next, it'll bring us to our last page, which is basically consenting that this is not an official transcript or this is not an official evaluation. This is just based off of the information you've entered in and an official um, and just know that an official evaluation will be given to you or you'll be given access to it 
once you have applied to CU Boulder and you have received um, admittance to CU Boulder. So just be on the lookout for that because we need official transcripts and all those things. So just things to keep in mind as you're going through this degree audit. Um, click yes and click go and that'll start running the program. <laughs> so once the program audit is ready to go, um, we will see a small check mark come in under the status box and you can click into that report. If you are out of transferology or for some reason you don't see that check mark click up, you can click on the programs tab up in green and that will take you to every single program that you run. So once you've clicked into the program audit, you will see that this is basically like a big checklist of everything you need to complete in order to earn a degree here at CU Boulder. How you know that a certain thing has, a certain point of this checklist has been met is that it'll be saying yes, it'll be blue, or it'll have a plus sign next to it. If it's not being met, it'll say no, be in red, or have a negative or like minus symbol next to it. So you may or may not be meeting those requirements as of yet. It's definitely kind of a working document as you complete your degree here at CU Boulder. And as classes are review, you take classes, things like that. One cool thing that is built into Transferology is it is connected to our course description. So if I click on this Chem 1400 class, this will take us to our Chem 1400 course description directly in our university catalog. So you can kind of see what classes you're going to take or what classes you need to take in order to earn your degree and decide if those classes still interest you as you're pursuing your degree. Um, other things to keep in mind are just some of some resources that you can take advantage of within our transfer team. Um, so if you're having trouble navigating this document, you can reach out to us at TC Help at Colorado EDU and we'll be more than happy to kind of walk you through steps and understanding and helpful tricks to get through this document. Um, or we will point you into the direction of our pre-transfer advising team. They can be reached at pre-transfer at colorado.edu. Our pre-transfer advising team are here to help you kind of navigate this document and to help you kind of figure out how long it's going to take you to earn a degree here at CU Boulder. So they are a great resource. We know that transferology is kind of a big animal to kind of tackle by yourself. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us at TC Help at colorado.edu and we'll at least point you in the right direction or try to answer your questions as best we can so you are not left in the dark here because we do not want that and we want you to come to see you Boulder. Okay, so now you know how to apply your courses from a previous institution to a program here at CU Boulder and see how those are going to plug into your desired degree here at CU Boulder. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at TC Help at Colorado.edu. Please check out more videos either on our YouTube page or um, on our own website at colorado.edu slash admissions slash transfer. Bye everybody.